Good evening. I am attorney Marissa Desitel with Desitel Law, speaking on behalf of the town of Barville tonight. The town takes issue with several aspects of the subject application process and with the technical merits of the draft permit. The town notes that it will be filing formal objections and comments with DEM. Testimony this evening is provided as an overview only. The town also notes that it supports testimony just given by the Conservation Law Foundation. As DEM staff is aware, the Clean Air Act mandates an assurance that any decision to permit increased air pollution in any area to which the Act applies is made only after careful evaluation of all the consequences of such a decision and after adequate procedural opportunities for informed public participation in the decision-making process. One of the primary issues the town sees with the permit application process in this case is the absence of adequate procedural opportunities for the town to participate in that decision-making process. The draft permit application process here was lengthy, yet several of Clear River Energy's methodologies were not subject to public review and comment. These methodologies, if made public in a timely manner, would have provided for informed participation by the town. Without the ability to review these methodologies, the town cannot now undertake the meaningful review mandated by the Clean Air Act. DEM, it seems, is forcing the town to blindly accept, accept steps in the application process and to therefore also accept unnecessary risks to public health, public safety, and the environment. Speaking of risk to the public health, it is a well-known fact that ozone non-attainment is an issue for the state. As part of the ozone transport region and with several ozone exceedances per year, any addition of NOx and VOCs from the Clear River Energy Center will only exacerbate Rhode Island's ozone compliance situation. No amount of modeling can repudiate the additional emissions from the center, and those additional emissions will only serve to increase the likelihood of ozone exceedances, which are a health risk to the elderly, children, and the breathing compromised. DEM, as a major source review permitting agency, has an obligation to protect the people of Barville and the state from this risk. Finally, the town of Barville requested and is currently reviewing records from Invenergy's Lackawanna Energy Facility in Pennsylvania. We are only halfway through the records review and have already counted 15 exceedances of NOx emissions from that facility. The documented failures at the Lackawanna facility deserve particular consideration given that it is a new facility and because it uses virtually the same equipment proposed by Clear River Energy here. From our file review at DEM, it does not appear that DEM reviewed or otherwise considered these factors. The town respectfully requests that DEM conduct such a review as part of its own duties in responding to public comments. We look forward to receiving your responses to our comments and thank you for your time. Thank you.